Cliff Richard was top of the hit parade. Petrol was four and threepence a gallon. The Mini was born. And Ernest Marples, then Transport Minister, was the man of the moment as he opened Britain's first motorway. So here are my two suggested mottos. First, take it easy, motorist. And second, if in doubt, don't. Well, you can go as fast as you like, you know. It's just, uh, it's not driving, it's just sitting there, isn't it? Well, it's quite fantastic, as a matter of fact. I, uh, I just didn't know how fast I was going. You just keep on wanting to go faster and faster. You just, you just can't help it. What speed did you do? Well, I got up to 100 on the clock, but uh, I think it was probably about 90, you know. They always did you ever think you could do it in this car? I didn't think the beast could do it. The landing doesn't go at 30 very well. But the cars didn't match the enthusiasm of the drivers. Former AA patrolman Don Woolhead, seen here in a promotional film, remembers. When it first started, it was just like a racetrack. Everybody trying to get to the other end first. There were a large number of breakdowns because it was something new. The, the cars those days weren't built for the continuous speed. We had a large number of uh, holes in the side of the engine, big ends knocking out, a large number of vehicles that we were towing off. In those days, the motorists, they didn't seem to take notice of the warning signs or anything like that. I mean, the, all right, the, the accidents on a motorway these days are serious, but in those days, we seemed to have a larger amount of cars involved when there was an accident. I mean, it started in November, all right, the first year we got fog. People hadn't drove on motorways in the fog. Of course, it should have been the safest road in the country, but no, there was an accident happened in front, people still kept tearing along in the fog, and uh, consequently, sometimes we had over 100 cars involved in accidents. I mean, you could stand there and you could put flares out to try and warn them. You could soak rag in petrol and throw out to try and warn them. In fact, at times, I've stood there and threw a gallon of petrol across the carriageway and set fire to it to try and warn them. But still, people still drove through it and you could hear in the fog the bangs of more crashes happening. Nonetheless, a carnival atmosphere prevailed. 